Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate your object to move along a path, animate your camera to follow your object, and animate your camera to follow its own path. If I press spacebar you'll see an example of what we could create. This is all relatively random. We'll probably make something slightly different but more or less the same. And there you have it. The first thing you want to do is you want to add your both your camera and your object that you want to animate in the scene. The second thing you want to do is you want to click on your select your camera, make sure its location, it's it, on the x axis, y axis, and z axis is, is zero. That's the only thing that needs to be zero. The ship as well, x axis, y axis, and z axis needs to be zero. Once you've done that, let's start off with the ship. Let's animate the ship. Press numpad seven. By the way, you can see all my clicks over here. Um, and let's create a, a path. Shift A, we're going to choose a curve. You can use a Bezier curve, a circle, uh, a NURBS curve, or a path. I'm going to use a path this time. And the second time around, I'll use a Bezier curve. Now that we've got our NURBS path here, yeah, we know that this is going to be for the ship path. So we rename it. I'm going to put it in the ship section. And then I'm going to press G to move it to over here. And then I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. And I'm just going to select those three, press G, select these three over here, press G. And I'm just doing this. And then at the end, yeah, when you get to the end, you just press E to extrude a new line. And you can do that. And if you want to make the turn a little, little bit sharper, you don't like how it is. You can just uh, subdivide it. And if you do this a few times, it gets, as you can see, sharper and sharper and sharper. And there you have it. Let's say this is, this should be more than good enough, to be honest. Uh, it's probably way too much. Next thing I want to do is I want to press numpad one. Oh, let's go slightly off. And I'm going to also use the proportional editing tool. You don't have to use this. You can use it, move each one individually. I just, I just want to move things faster. I'm pressing G. I'm scrolling the wheel up so that it moves a whole bunch of objects at once. And this is just so that um, scrolling the mouse wheel down. It's just so that we make the, the turn a little bit more interesting. And you can just play around with this and find a shape that, that you like, that you find interesting, that you want the ship to follow. Obviously, this is just a tutorial. There's no real reason. Anyways, so now that's done. We've created the path. The next thing we're going to do is press tab. Now that we're out of edit mode, we're back in object mode. I'm going to select the ship. And I'm going to hover the mouse down here to the object constraint properties. I'm going to add an object constraint, and it's called follow path. Once I've selected that, I'm going to select the path I wanted to follow, which is the ship path, because that's the boat ship or whatever it is. The next thing I want to do is to make sure that this is aligned correctly. So I wanted to follow the curve, and now it's not facing forward. So I'm going to move, click the forward axis, and you can click on these to find one that that is. And X happens to be the correct one this time around. So I'm going to use X. The next thing to look at is the up axis you can use x y but z is correct so we can use that and then we can just click animate once we've selected animate we can scroll back here and we can press spacebar and we can see it moves along as nice as this is the one problem with this is that it's moving at its own pace it's not using keyframes and if you don't know what, what keyframes are don't worry i'll show you how to use them now um, now, the next thing you want to do is you want to select fixed position as well. And then if we press space bar, oh, nothing happens. That's a good thing because it's keeping it in, it in its fixed position. However, if we move the offset factor after we've animated, we can still move it along this line here. So let's move it to zero. Make sure our keyframe is on zero here. And then we're going to hover our mouse over the offset factor and press I. And you'll see a keyframe is added, a little diamond shape there. And we're going to move this, let's say, 50 frames in. Keep in mind, if you haven't animated before, one frame is not one second. It's normally about 24 frames per second. So 50 frames is roughly two seconds. Now we go to frame 50, and then we're going to move this along. Let's say we want to move it to about there. And then we're going to hover over this and press I. 
and then we're going to go to 100. You can play around with this and see, move it to where you want. And let's say we only want to move it a little bit like that. And then we click I. Keyframe wasn't added. Click I. There we go. Now it's added. We can see it. And we go to 150. Now we want to move it faster. So we move it faster along the curve. And we press I again. And we take it to 200. Yours might be 250. You can just change it yeah, to 200 if it says 250. It's not a train smash. And then we're just going to move this along all the way to there. And press I. Now, if we move all the way back, and we press spacebar, you can see how fast your ship moves. And you can decide if this is right or wrong for you, but you get to control this, the speed of your animation now, which is pretty awesome. Now, as nice as that is, um, if we actually, let me create a new hover down here, lift this up with the mouse, oh, there we go. Select 3D viewport and click on the camera. Currently, the camera sees nothing. So if you press this animation, literally the camera sees nothing. So we're going to move this all the way back there to frame zero. And I'm going to press, num I'm going to press numpad seven. And now, let's, now that we've done with the ship path and that's done, let's create a camera path. I'm going to press shift A. I'm going to choose a Bezier curve this time around. And you can change this, I think it's on one, I already put it on 15, but it doesn't really matter. And once, once you've got that, you can press tab to go into edit mode. And you can select one end, like I have here. And now these two ends, if you press G, let me, obviously turn off proportional editing. If you press G, it helps you shape the curve. It gives you more control of the curve that you wanted. You can move it in or out like that and turn it to get the perfect shape that you want for your camera. And I'll select the other end here. And I'll just play around with it. I'll select this middle one here and I'll press E. Select this other one here. Rotate it. Select that. E to extrude. And rotate it. And you can make the lines over cross or whatever you want. It's not, not a major train smash. All to do with preference here. You can play around with this and see if you like it. There we go. All right, so now that we've got the camera path that we used a different uh, MT for, now we need to select the camera. So I'll select the camera up here. I'll go to my object constraint properties. I click add object constraint and we once again can choose follow path. And now we're gonna choose the constraint and we can choose the Bezier curve, by the way, which we're gonna rename to camera path before it gets all weird, right? So we choose the camera path Hold on, let me first select the camera. Press tab. Select the camera. Add constraint. You can do this in object mode as well, it doesn't really matter. Follow path. Camera path. There we go. Now, once again, we still don't see the ship. So, what, what I can do is I'm just going to minimize this for a second. I'm going to add another constraint, and it's called your damped track. Now that I've selected damped track, I'm going to select the ship because I always wanted to follow the ships. Now I'm just selecting all these options until I see a ship, which happens to be on negative Z. So that's the correct one. And we want the influence to be strong the way it is. And we can go back to follow path. And we wanted to follow the curve. And the rest doesn't really matter because we have the damp track that fixes the camera, which is great. You can do the exact same stuff you did for the ship or the camera if you, if you didn't want to use a damp track. This is, um, so either way works. Right, now we select animate. And now we press spacebar. And we can see that works quite well. I actually like that speed, but because this is the tutorial, we're going to mix it up. So now we're going to change the speed of this as well. So we're going to choose fixed positions. Now if we press space, camera doesn't move. It just stays focused on the object because of the damp track which is fine, but we want the camera to move along, right? So what we can do is we can press, hover over this offset factor here, press I, uh, go to frame 50, move the off factor to 
there. And you can control the speed this way as well, which makes it quite useful. Press I and go to frame 100. You just play around with this to see how you like it. And we're just about done. And take it up to about there. Press I. And I'm actually going to leave it here. You don't have. You don't have. To, also, you don't have to make your camera go all the way through the whole path. You can decide to make it stop at one spot as well if you like. Now, if we view this, just so you can see what I see in the corner here a little bit better, I'm going to press spacebar, and you can see if you like it. If you don't like any position, like you don't like this cutoff point here you can mess with these settings to get the full frame. Um, I don't want to go into too more detail than this because you, if you're a novice, yeah, I'll leave it at this. But yeah, you get the idea. Just like that, we created a path for the camera. We created a path for our boat ship. And we also made sure that the camera is always looking at our object by default automatically. I hope that helps and hope you have a great day. Cheers.